It's Freestyle Friday! Coming in hot with quick shots of inspiration on a variety of topics. So excited for today's episode. We're going to talk money, baby. Let's talk developing a strong money mindset, developing financial literacy. We actually, over the next three episodes, are interviewing our what we call our financial SWAT team, people that help us with our money, build and grow our money. And as we go through this topic, I know there's a lot of guilt around money. I, we want to release that. We want to release the feeling of guilt around making money or making more money. I also want to shout out a few of our financial mentors, uh, some being Jack Canfield, Robert Kiyosaki, Grant Cardone, Jen Sincero, and many more. Before we dive in, Sandy's going to go through some awesome money affirmations, but want to talk through abundance versus scarcity mindset. When it comes to money, ultimately, we have to develop an abundant mindset that there's plenty of money out there, that it's up to us, that our financial freedom and future is totally up to us versus scarcity, a lack. A lot of us come from a place of lack or wanting or desiring more money. That is paying energy and emphasis on what is not there. So we want to focus on what what is there and what we're building. So I think we have a few tips on developing a strong money mindset. Sandy, you want to go in the first one? I think first you should share a little bit about your background. Good call. Yeah. So we all grow up you know, and usually we get our money mindset or how we think about money from our upbringing, from our parents. I actually went to business school. I got my undergrad and my master's degree in finance. And I'm telling you, I learned nothing about how to make money, how to invest money, how to keep your money, how to grow your money, or anything about financial literacy or money mindset. I could read financial statements, but I knew nothing about financial literacy. That is a learned trait. It's something we can all learn through kind of these tips that we're going to go through. All right. So let's reprogram some limiting beliefs with positive money affirmations. So many of us have probably heard things like this before. Money doesn't grow on trees. There's not enough money to go around. It takes money to make money. You can't get rich during a recession. Money is the root of all evil. Money can't buy happiness. I can't make a lot of money doing what I love. I have to work too hard to make money. People will resent me if I have a lot of money. No matter what I do, I'll always have debt. Oh, debt. So we've all heard these types of things, right? And yeah, sidebar on debt, like when people say things like, you know, a goal of mine this year is to get out of debt. Well, you using the word debt is actually attracting more debt. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying, I want to get out of debt, you can say the same thing in a more positive way by saying, I am financially free. Right. Or and something that's like that. that abundant versus scarcity mindset. That is like, it's very, you know, we all do it, but scarcity is I want to get out of debt. You are giving energy to the debt that you're in and you have this want or lack or scarcity. I want to get out of it versus what Sandy said is the positive side. I am financially free. That is a positive affirmation. It's the same result. Also, a lot of people think negatively about debt. Side note, debt isn't the worst thing. Now, credit card debt, you should pay your credit cards off every month. That is one of the best things you can do financially. But debt attached to an asset, I love debt. If I could buy a rental property that houses someone and ultimately they're paying rent, which is paying the mortgage and it is a financial asset, I'm happy to have debt on an asset that returns dollars back to you. Now, debt on a credit card to buy clothes or to buy things or even car debt or different things are debt that's not, you know, paying you or giving you money or adding to your net worth. So that's kind of considered bad debt. There is good debt out there when it's attached to an asset, but that's a side note. Okay. Sorry. Sidebar over. <laughs> okay. So let's affirm the opposite of what I just went through. Let's go positive, right? I attract abundant opportunities and money flows easily to and through me. There is always enough money for everything I and my family needs and wants. I am always attracting new ways to make more money. I keep getting wealthier no matter what the economy is doing. Love that one. Money is the root of all that is good. The more money I have, the happier I become. The more I chase my passion, the more money flows into my life. I'm a magnet for success and prosperity. The more money I have, the more good I can do in the world. The more money I have, the more I can give back. Money keeps pouring into my life, no matter what I do. I celebrate the success of others and they celebrate mine. My wealth is multiplying every day in every way. 
Whenever I spend or give away money, it comes back to me 10x. I'm a powerful money magnet. I love money and money loves me. Oh man, those are so good. What if you start reshaping money doesn't go on, grow on trees or there's not enough money to go around or anything into any of those positive affirmations that, that Sandy just mentioned? Like that is it. Let's focus on the good. Let's focus on abundance and prosperity, not on lack and scarcity and lack thereof. So the first tip for developing a strong uh, money mindset is rethink your limiting beliefs and turn them into those positive affirmations. The second tip, practice gratitude for what we already have. Again, we don't want to focus on lack or what we don't have. We want to be grateful for what we have. Where energy goes and attention goes, you know, it comes back to you. So don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you have. Be grateful for your money. When you have, you know, a bill, be grateful someone lent you that money and you get to pay it. Practice gratitude for what you have while building towards, you know, what you plan on building or what you desire. The third tip we have, and we got this from Jack Canfield, always carry a $100 bill or wherever you live, whatever that similar monetary value is, but a $100 bill in your wallet or purse. It shows you like it, that if you go and you need it, it's right there for you. It shows that you have abundance there with you at your fingertips at all times. If you ever need to like jump in a taxi or something, or you're at the farmer's market and someone only takes cash, you can't say, oh, I don't have any money mm -hmm. because you always have a fresh hundo in your wallet. And the key is if you spend it, replace it immediately. Always have that hundred there. Beyond that, we want you to write a check for how much money you want to make this year. How much money do you want to make in 2021? Write a check for it and make it bigger than your gut says or than what is like realistic. Make it a bigger goal. If you're an entrepreneur and your money varies monthly, you could set monthly goals, but set those goals and what we do is we'll drop it in the show notes, but the documentary, The Secret, they have like a check that you can print out from their website and just write it to yourself. So we'll drop that in the show notes. I know Jim Carrey, when before he was big, wrote a $10 million check to himself. And he was a small time actor at the time, but he kept looking at it. He would envision it every day, him receiving that check. Years and years later, he got a check for $10 million to shoot Dumb and Dumber. That's pretty amazing. That is getting magnetic towards what you want, towards, you know, that is the law of attraction in practice and coming to fruition. And then the fourth tip we have is spend time with people who make more money than you. If you're hanging around with five people who are broke, you're going to be the sixth. If you're hanging around with five people that might be smarter or wealthier or make more money than you, that inspire you, guess what? They're going to raise your vibration. Hang at around places where wealthy people hang. Go to your local Ritz or Montage or that, that really cool hip spot where people hang at the bar, whatever, wherever it is, like go to those places and hang around those people. And to wrap it up, we want to add in some recommendations, you know, books, you know how much we love books and a few of our favorite books on building money mindset and financial literacy are Rich Dad, Poor Dad, probably the GOAT money book, financial book of all time by Robert Kiyosaki. Another great one is The Richest Man in Babylon. And then the third one is You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. We'll drop all those in the show notes. But we are so excited for this you know, money mindset series to come up and for us to interview our financial SWAT team over the next three episodes. We think you guys are going to get a ton of value out of that. And let's end with some affirmations. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to say it and then you're going to say it. Let's do it. I love money and money loves me. I love money and money loves me. Money flows freely and effortlessly to and through me. Money flows freely and effortlessly to and through me. I attract abundant opportunities and money comes easily. I attract abundant opportunities and money comes easily. Woo! Woo! Thanks for tuning in today. Catch you next time. Only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. So remember, you are magnetic.